Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what team I think Josh Bruce should be traded to. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I'm sure this is pretty much a surprise to quite a bit of you. It definitely is a surprise to me, but it looks like uh, Josh Bruce has actually been thrown on the trade table and the main team that looks like they want him is the Western Bulldogs. He managed to play 22 games this year, kicking 36 goals, and I would say had a really solid year for the St. Kilda Football Club, and he definitely, I think, worked a lot better with Tim Membry this year, and yeah, I think they were a really good combination, but Western Bulldogs are definitely trying to approach uh, St. Kilda with quite a bit of interest right now. There's another team that I want to talk about besides Western Bulldogs that I think might have a chance at getting him, and we'll probably give him a look but first of all, we're going to go with the Western Bulldogs at the start. And I think Western Bulldogs, if they if they want him, I think they're a massive chance to get him. But I don't think St. Kilda are going to try and give him up, you know, that easy. They're definitely going to have to give, um, you know, give up quite a bit to get him to the side. Because, yeah, I think he's had a pretty good year and has definitely been one of St. Kilda's best players. There could be a chance he even finishes top five in the best and fairest, to be honest. So... Yeah, you never really know what's going to happen. So, yeah, I think Western Bulldogs going to have to trade quite a bit if they want to get him. For example, if they finish 8th or something like that, they're probably going to have, like, pick 12 to 14, maybe. Or I don't really know. It's They're in the finals, obviously, at the time making this video. So, their, their pick's going to be pick 12 to 19 or whatever, something like that. So, that's, that's what they're probably going to have to give up for Josh Bruce. I know it kind of sounds a little bit crazy, but yet again, Josh Bruce has actually had a really good season. So... I think it makes the most sense, and I don't think he really is in a rush to leave St. Kilda, and I don't think St. Kilda are in a rush to trade him, so if there's interest from other teams, such as Western Bulldogs, they might have to overpay, so whether that's, whether, you know, whatever that is, I don't really know, but yeah, I'm sure they're probably going to have to overpay as he is contracted to the club from what I know, and I don't think St. Kilda are in a rush to get rid of him, and I think they, I think they do really like him, so... Yeah, Western Bulldogs probably going to have to overpay there. Now, the other team that I was thinking he's a massive opportunity to go to um, as well is the Geelong Football Club. Obviously, for those of you who didn't know, Jack Stephen actually, it looks like he's requested a trade to the Geelong Football Club. And it looks like Jake Carlisle is also on the trade block and could also be moved to Geelong or maybe a couple other teams here and there, like Richmond as well, could show interest. But it could be, you know, a massive three-way trade where maybe... Western Bulldogs might even like Carlo and they might, you know, want him in a trade as well. So it could be a three-way trade with Geelong and then who knows, Geelong might give some players to Western Bulldogs and give some picks or whatever to uh, St. Kilda and then Geelong give up Jack Stephen and then Bruce and then Carlo goes to Western Bulldogs or Carlo goes to Geelong or whatever may happen. But it could be a three-way trade if you think about it. But I think Kylo is a massive opportunity to go to Geelong, and obviously Steve, and it looks like most likely will be going to Geelong as well. Where does that fit in Bruce in this scenario? I don't really know. As I said, I think a really interesting thing that no one's really talked about is a three-team trade, and you don't really see much of them in the AFL. They're a lot more common in the NBA, I think, um, than what they are in the AFL as yeah, there are, a chance, you know, sometimes in the NBA, there's salary cap restrictions and they have to get a third team out to, you know, help out and do all this type of stuff. In the AFL, it's a little bit different because the salary cap rules are quite a bit different and the contract system than the NBA. But yeah, three team trades, I don't think we've really seen much of them recently. So who knows, we might actually see one that involves Josh Bruce, uh, whether he's, you know, being sent off to the Western Bulldogs or potentially Geelong. Now, Geelong will most likely be losing Tim Kelly, but there's so many plays that Geelong are reportedly looking at in free agency, such as, you know, Jack Steven, um, Jake Carlisle, Sean Higgins, uh, Brad Hill, Stephen Hill is probably on their radar, knowing them as well. Ed Langdon, there's so many plays. I'm sure Josh Bruce will most likely be added to that. And St. Kilda could have one of the biggest off-seasons in history, in my opinion. I think it could definitely happen. They just will have a lot of salary cap issues on getting all of these players to the club. But I'm sure, you know, what they could potentially do is if they wanted all of these players, that might mean that Gaz retiring would have to be an option. I think, you know, Gaz was an all in the All-Australian 40 team. I don't know why he would even think of retiring, but... Apparently, he actually is, so that's pretty interesting to think about right there. And finally, when he gets his body right, he's thinking about retiring. 
I don't really know, but yeah, potentially they could get cap from that. There's a couple other players potentially they could move on from, like Scott Selwood hasn't played that many games due to injuries, and they can pretty much... They're probably going to delist quite a bit of players to get rid of cap if they're going to go all in and try and get all these players, to be honest. But yeah, Western Bulldogs definitely want a player to pair with Aaron Norton, who I think was number one in the AFL for contested marks, and I think Josh Bruce was number three or something, so... You got two of the top three players in contested marks. I think Tom Lynch is number two, by the way. But yeah, uh, you got two of the top three players in contested marks this year, and he pretty much might be, you know, partnering them up. That's a scary, a scary sign. I think it would definitely help Western Bulldogs out quite a bit. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably more interested in the Geelong, the Geelong scenario and what's going to happen there, as I think Josh Bruce is going to be another player that's going to be added to, uh, Geelong's, you know wish list to plays as, yeah, they're definitely going to be trade buddies with St. Kilda in this offseason, you know, Jack Steven and most likely Jake Carlisle, so it's definitely going to be really interesting to see what happens, but anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest AFL content, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below, what team do you guys think uh, St. Kilda should trade Josh Bruce to, or do you think they should just not trade him at all, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below, also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MLIRO slash vlogging channel, also link will be in the description down below, so you make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.